Hello, I'm Larry Carlson. I'm one of two co-directors of the ITL Laboratory and also a professor of mechanical engineering. Uh, I've been involved in the ITL Laboratory since its very beginning, uh, starting the planning and designing and, and building phase. And we've been uh, up and running now for, uh, we're just celebrating our 10th anniversary, so it's a happy birthday time. The, uh, the whole spirit of the ITL Laboratory is that it's, uh, it's all about hands-on learning for engineering students. It's uh, really ways for students as uh, freshmen to design things, and then as uh, they move through their career, they can they can uh, analyze things in real time. And as I said, just about any possible way you can think of that uh, engineering students might get involved in hands-on learning, uh, we want to support that here. Uh, a big aspect of what we do is uh, real-time data acquisition and analysis. Uh, the lab stations. Uh, that you see throughout the lab are intended to uh, take data from anything that you can convert to an electrical signal. So that could be temperature, strain, pressure, force, uh, any physical parameter that you can measure. Uh, we can bring it into the computers. And of course, once we have it in the computers, then uh, LabVIEW makes an excellent, uh, excellent choice of a way to analyze it, to write the programs to control the data acquisition, and so on and so forth. Hi, I'm uh, Darren McSweeney. I'm the Applications Engineer for the ITL Laboratory. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration of how we're using National Instruments hardware and software in our lab. This right here is a fairly simple demonstration. It's called the Inverted Pendulum. Basically what we have here is we have a rotary potentiometer that senses the angle of this rod. That rotary potentiometer gets fed back through this system, and the signal gets directly routed. There's no amplifiers or anything. It just gets routed from here to here. And then it goes into our lab station. This is, our, this is what we call a military connector. Basically, the inputs and outputs on this military connector are wired directly to a National Instruments data acquisition card. From there, I can write a custom piece of software this in, in this case is called the inverted pendulum controller. You can see that the software reads the position from left to right of the inverted pendulum. It reads the angle and degrees of the inverted pendulum, the velocity, the angular velocity, and this is just the direct voltage output off of the um, off of that potentiometer. And we of course apply a standard PID control algorithm using LabVIEW and also using the digital to analog converters of the National Instruments Data Acquisition Card. And by reading the angle and position of this system, we can have it self-balance. 